What's up, Technobe here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be going through the basics of Xenonbot for Discord, now with slash commands. Note that the creation of this video was sponsored and all of my opinion is my own. What exactly does this bot do? Well, Xenonbot creates backups of your Discord servers, roles, channels and server settings. Backup even more with the premium version such as messages and member data like nicknames and assigned roles. You can easily clone servers or simply restore a server to a previous backup. It's great for raids, rogue server admins, or just creating more servers by cloning your existing one. There's also a template section to this bot that you can load onto existing servers or create new ones from, but we'll get into this later. So first of all, how do we get started? All you need to do is simply invite the bot to your Discord server. Head across to xenon.bot slash invite and invite the bot using your Discord account. You'll need the manage server permission in order to invite the bot. When asked about bot permissions, simply make sure that the bot has the administrator permission checked and then authorize it. Because the bot supports the new slash commands feature, you can hit forward slash and select the Xenon bot section to see all of the bot's available commands as well as a short description for each. If you don't see any commands here, head into your user settings, then text and images under app settings, and near the bottom, you'll find preview emojis, mentions, and markdown syntax as you type. Simply make sure that this is turned on. Note that the Xenon role added with the bot should be at the top of the roles list. Head to Server Settings, Roles, select Xenon bot, and then simply drag it to the top of the list over here as high as you can go. Then save changes, and you can close out of it. Let's get started. To create a backup for your server, enter any channel and then type forward slash backup create. You'll see some more commands returned in chat, as well as the backup's unique ID. We can use the first command over here to check info on the backup. Slash backup info, backup underscore ID, colon, followed by the backup's unique ID. In here we can see the date of the backup, a list of channels, and a list of roles. Also seen in the first message is a load command that we'll be using in just a moment to clone our Discord server. If I head over to a newly created Discord where I've invited the bot, I can run slash backup load, followed by the backup ID to restore the layout, channels, server settings, and if you're premium, even more. You'll get prompted with the changes, typing slash confirm will get it to work. Upon running this command, all existing roles and channels will be deleted, then roles and channels from the backups will be loaded into your server. Let's go ahead and check the server settings, and you can even see the roles have copied across with all of their unique permissions. If you'd like to delete a backup for whatever reason, you can use slash backup delete followed by the backup's ID. Now, of course, manually backing up isn't the easiest. We can start automatic backups using slash backup interval on. After entering this command, your server will automatically create backups of itself every 24 hours. Slash backup list shows a list of all backups, including interval backups indicated by the clock, as well as their unique IDs and creation date times. If you'd like to limit your server's admin's access to the bot, you can use slash settings, permissions, level, followed by one of the options that you'll see on screen, including only the owner can use commands, admins can use non-destructive commands, or admins can use all commands. I would leave this at owner only. Now that we have the backup crash course complete, let's have a look at the templates. Head across to templates.xenon.bot to see a list of templates. Templates are similar to, but not the same as backups that you make. Templates are public and free to use for everyone. However, backups that you make are private and can only be used by the user that created it. After finding a template that you like, click the use button followed by a new server or existing server. New server will let you create a brand new server from the selected template. Existing template will give you a command that you can run on the server you'd like to import the template to. I'll be running it on this new test server. After confirming, you'll see the changes slowly affecting your server. But anyways, that's about it for this crash course guide. If you'd like to learn more about the bot or you're stuck somewhere, head across to wiki.xenon.bot for a complete help documentation, FAQ, and more. You can also join the Discord through xenon.bot slash Discord. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.